Hey guys, Adam from Equip the Door. A little package here, which is my new Fire Ants from Emberlit, or Merkwares, I should actually say. That's actually the name of the company, even though we call them Emberlit. Mikhail over there, out of Utah. Great little item, as you guys can see. We've already lit this one up. Now, little embarrassing story. I cannot find the prototype they sent me before Kickstarter that I was helping them out with and testing out and giving my input. Um, I think it got moved around someplace, so I gotta locate that. Hopefully it didn't walk off at a camp event or something, that would be uh, upsetting. But, you know, these things happen and that is probably the one drawback of this. It's so small and compact, it's easy to set someplace and forget where you set it. So uh, that's one thing I'll have to be rectifying with my uh, deployment of this piece of equipment. Now, let me put out this real quick before we get to the test and the review of this. Uh, I'm not a paid spokesman for Emberlet. They are my good friends. I like those guys. I uh, did help them on their Kickstarter in regards to taking some photographs and stuff like that. Really like this product, the ingenuity, and Mikhail is just an awesome guy. Really just fun-loving dude. If you ever meet him, he's just, you know, salt of the earth kind of guy. Um, and just, I'm very happy to hear about his success and I wish him the best of luck. This is an amazing product. I think this is gonna retail for about 75 bucks. I know the final price point isn't there. And if you haven't got on the Kickstarter, you're one of the thousand people who, who got it, uh, you probably have to wait for a little bit before this comes out for the regular market. I know they're, they're coming right around the corner. A couple slight design changes in regards to this piece right here. You see the stamp kind of push that out a little bit. And I think the port was moved up a little bit and you had these extra holes. The holes are a little bit bigger. And uh, I think they've changed some of this a little bit. Uh, but you know, great design. And one thing that I can say from the testing of this, uh, the other one as well, I did a lot of testing between this one and the old El Mini, which is their old titanium mini stove and their stainless steel stove. And this just gets really good air draw. It really focuses all the heat so you can get combustion going. And one part you'll see in the test is actually I took the wood that I've already started uh, lighting on fire and I brought it to the side and showed you guys, you know, this should, this should be self, uh, you know, feeding right now, but the wood was really damp. And so it just wasn't burning on its own. It needed that extra uh, heat to be trapped in there and the oxygen draw this was getting to really be successful. So this will help you burn wood even though it's been laying on the ground and damp or anything like that. And the other versatility with this thing is, you know, using it as a windshield, you can take the face off and just make a small fire in there. It's, it's pretty awesome. Just a great little item and it's really gonna help you control the fire if you're in an area where there's some limitations with making a fire. So you need to check your laws and everything in local areas before you go make a fire and make sure this constitutes a burning device because I'm not gonna speak for every state and you know, federal park or whatever. But really great stuff guys. Let's go out and check out the test right now and see how it performed and we'll be right back. They did do some uh, cosmetic changes, you guys can see. Uh, look at some other videos especially this other slot up here, which is pretty cool, which is used for multiple amount of things. And also they added this little tray so you can be able to put other things, you know, make it a alcohol stove or some Esma tablets or a live fire to also use a stove for that purpose. So today we're gonna test it out. I got some wood over here prepared for us. I got a couple live fires and we're gonna get this guy started. Got some birch bark. Also I have a uh, power pot that I wanted to test out and work with this as well. Really easy construction for this guy. I'm going to show you guys. So same as before, you have the one side that's kind of coming up, is stamped out, and one side that's stamped with the concavity. So just sort of slide this guy, make sure that the sides are symmetrical. You want the stamp out to go out, so there's a little bit more volume. And uh, the door, the end with the door, that's the last piece that you connect because you got to put the, the bottom in. So we're going to... So this in, and I always put the, the door like that as well. That fits in there, like so. And you slide that in there, and then you just pop the hinges. Now, one other cool thing is that you can put a live fire in here, like so. Actually, this is a full-size live fire. It'll fit in the corners, and this was not by design. This was just kind of happenstance. And I was playing around with it and talking to Mikhail while he was designing. He's like, oh, dude, I so wish I could put a, a live fire in there. That'd be freaking awesome. He's like, yeah, that would be pretty cool. And then all of a sudden I looked at it. I was like, wait a minute. Well, that just fit in. Did that just happen? And he was like, holy crap, that just did happen. So if you have a live fire original, you can do that. You can still stack wood around it like so. If you need to burn the whole thing, I wouldn't really suggest using the whole thing. 
but also when it's done burning, you can throw alcohol in there and burn it that way as well. And of course, it's going to burn pretty fast, not having a top on it. All, but hey, man, there's all kind of nifty things you can do with these tins, which you're pretty happy about. Furthermore, if we throw in this little tray right here, there we go. And so there we got the little plate there for our ESBA tablets or a little alcohol stove, which also fits in these slots. It's fit right in there. Or if you want to put a little live fire sport right on there and get your fire going that way. It's a very, very cool stuff. Um, for today's tests, I'm just going to use it as a normal wood stove because I think that's where it excels. Uh, this thing I think works better than the larger Emberlit uh, and also a lot better than the, the old uh, titanium stove, which I do have one. Um, but I will be uh, probably retiring it because I like this one better. Maybe I'll throw it in another kit, you know, give it to my kids. They can hand me down stoves. So the cool thing about this is the footprint. I mean, it's so small, it's so light and very, very easy to use. Before we've seen how well this thing takes uh, just normal wood. So we're gonna take some of this birch bark over here, lift that up a little bit. Stuff that in there. Take some of these sticks. Put those in there as well. I'm going to save a few because that's going to go up really fast. We don't want to suffocate it too much. And the one thing I like about the Emberlitz more than any of the other fire starters is just, I mean, any of the other stoves is that the port. It's so easy to load even larger fuel wood, and we're going to show you that in a little bit. Take this uh, live fire, we're going to fluff it up a little bit. Fluffier, the better. There we go. I'm going to take that. So we can leave that in there like that for a little bit to get that stuff started. You know, take it out, whatever you want to do. Maybe some of this bigger stuff that they're going to uh, up there too. Now guys, keep in mind this isn't the intended use of this guy, but I just wanted to try some uh, multi-purpose ways to use this thing. And that 
that would be to uh, the ability to start another fire. By getting these hot enough. That'll work. It's hot. A good bed of embers. What it would take to get this thing going again. Not much. Not much at all. You're really getting the reflection of all that heat in there to really aid that fire in starting and initiating combustion. I mean, the wood's just gasifying pretty, pretty effectively. And these, this wood isn't the wettest. This has been on the ground, laying out here in the rain for I don't know how long. Fire. Now titanium does cool pretty fast. And that's still hot to the touch, but nothing ridiculous. So you guys can see it's actually a good example of it's kind of a challenge to keep this this fire going outside of the emberlet. It works. I mean we've got a good bed of coals here that I just transferred. It's not that they're not hot. The rock is dry. 
um, the oxygen pool for the ember lid of the fire ant, I should call it. This is pretty impressive. I can, I can hold that now. That's how fast that cools down. Now, touch the edges. You're gonna need a little bluing like that because of the, uh, the titanium. That just means you love it. As you guys can see, this thing does not hesitate in burning the crap ton of wood and really effective and efficient in, in regards to boiling water. We actually used this for the power pot test and we were able to get a burn in about four minutes. It was no big deal at all. Like I said before, this is a product that I've been using now for almost three years and I'm just really impressed by it. I can't complain um, about anything with it except the fact that I misplaced the prototype. <laughs> but I, I have an idea where it is. We did some moving around, shuffling of our offices and everything. So it probably got put in a, a box someplace to be found here shortly. Um, it is, uh, of course, dishwasher safe because it's titanium. So if you get it all gunky and nasty like I did, I usually get home from my trip, throw it in the dishwasher, and I find it I find it stacked in a neat little corner when I forget to unload the dishwasher, my wife unloads the dishwasher. So um, it, that's pretty cool. The bag itself is just some ripstop material with some Velcro. Uh, he has some other nicer bags for uh, the emberlets, the, the main emberlets, so I will probably see some ones for that. I know this is probably just a, the prototype bag for the Kickstarter, but it works. It's all you need. It's gonna be able to collapse up in here and stay in here where it's neat, not getting your stuff all sooty after you used it. So again, guys, love it. You guys can see how small it is. It is so, so very light. I don't even know how many freaking grams this thing weighs. It's not much, but I can say that it, it'll be something I'll be carrying in every one of my kits. I already have an El Mini. I have a couple of the regular stoves. I'll probably leave those as is because they're so light and everything too. I, you know, there's no reason for me to get rid of them. They work wonderfully. And the only thing I wish for is I wish they had one that was bigger. I could take one that's like 10 times bigger. That would be great. Something I could put in my car that I could take everywhere I, I you know, go that's gonna you know, collapse and be pretty flat. But at the same time, we can use to you know, throw some cast iron pots on there. That would be awesome. Now to say that this won't, this will take, this will take some heavy weight. It's just, you're not gonna have much heat focused on the whole thing. You need a little, a little bit bigger to get more heat there. But awesome item. And then of course we had this little tray here that we can fit in here to hold our Esbit stove, Esbit tablets, or our live fire and all the other good stuff. All right guys, so Adam from Equipped Indoor. If you have any questions or comments, please email me at adam at equippedindoor.com. Check Emberlit at emberlit.com. And uh, for those guys who got on the Kickstarter, congratulations, you're really gonna enjoy this. And for those of you guys who didn't, just stand by. This product should be out in the market here within the next couple months. All right, guys, take care, be safe, and remember, if you're not always prepared, you're never prepared. Thanks.